So I screwed up a little bit and forgot the, the reason I didn't have a library card was because I abused my privileges and I just got nine books from the library despite having a full TBR that I'm supposed to get through. Um, yeah, I got Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn, You by Carolyn Kepnes, two Agatha Christie books, Lolita, well I got a whole book of Nabokov's work, but I'm just gonna read Lolita. Um, the Sexualization of Young Girls in Lolita, Studying the Lolita Effect, um, and what else did I get? Solar by Ian McEwan, and Reading Lolita in Tehran. I think that's it. Yeah. So, I still have a full TBR for the month, and I'm currently in the middle of War and Peace and Lovecraft, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> little bit there. I have no self-control. So I'm trying to decide what to read next because it's not gonna be War and Peace. I'm giving myself a few days off from that because it was making me slump really hard and I finished two books since I went to the library which was on Monday and it's now Wednesday so that's pretty solid. Um yeah I finished Solar which was really bad. Like, I'd, I'll do a review on that later, but that was a bad book. And I finished Sharp Objects, which was an incredibly stressful read. Like, I don't know how to talk about that book and if I'm going to do a review or even a book talk on it. Um... Like, I had a really strong emotional response to that, and not so much because of the book itself, but for personal reasons, and part of me thinks, oh, that's the, that's the perfect time to, you know, do a video on it, but I don't think it was really a productive emotional response, if you get what I mean. Like, it wasn't related to the book so much as it was me. And, I don't know, like, that might be a book that I just don't acknowledge at all because I don't know how to read it and I don't know how to talk about it or review it and, yeah, that was not what I expected from that book. But next I'm either gonna read Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank or you. Just, I need something that's gonna be, like, not a lot of effort but also good. Because Sharp Objects and Solar were neither of those things. And I just need something to, like, calm me down so I can go back to War and Peace without completely slumping and not reading anything for the rest of the month. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just procrastinating deciding what to read. I hate making decisions. I literally went to the library again today and got, like, nine more books. I'm not gonna go through the books I got because they're all young adult contemporary and they're basically everything that's been popular or a lot of what's been popular in the past like three years that I haven't been reading what's been popular but I was like sure why not they'll all be fairly quick and easy reads I can pretty much get through like two YA contemporaries a day so that'll be nice to intersperse with War and Peace, which I'm still reading and still making small amounts of progress on. Um, also, like, two of y'all found me on Goodreads yesterday. And my initial reaction was, oh, cool, book two friends on Goodreads. And then I realized I've never actually linked my Goodreads on here. So... I don't know. Y'all apparently went out of your way to find me on Goodreads. Like, it's not hard, but it did take a little bit of searching, I guess. But yeah, I will link my Goodreads down in the description for those of you who would like to add me. I pretty much post reviews for everything I read, and what I'm currently reading is updated fairly often. But it, not as in-depth reviews as I do on here. But yeah. Thanks for putting forth the effort to find me, I guess. 
I'm really looking forward to getting through the YA contemporary stuff because I haven't really read a lot of that lately even though I really do love it I just I don't know where the YA contemporary section is at my library so I had to put everything on hold and wait for the holds to come in because I'm too anxiety ridden to you know ask a librarian like a normal human being like hey where do you keep these books that I know you have so yeah I'm gonna be doing that that's gonna be super fun and other than that I'm just making my way through War and Peace and Diary of a Young Girl and Lovecraft because apparently now I'm reading like six books at once just roll with it I am really feeling all my YA contemporaries right now it makes me I'm just I'm getting through them so fast I'm already on like the third one that I got and it's literally been a day two days but they're really good um I started re listening to one of them as an audiobook at first uh tell me three things by Julie Buxbaum <laughs> and I quickly remembered why I don't listen to audiobooks it just in one ear out the other I have I don't retain any information I only listened to like 60 seconds and couldn't tell you how it began so I just started that and I'm reading that as a physical book and I read I was here by Gail Foreman I read if I stay a few years ago like when it came out and that was meh but this one was okay and I read if I was your girl which was also good so I'm like really happy I have a couple more why it contemporaries on hold and I got the first two parts of the PS I love you or I so uh, the something the thing that Jenny Ahan wrote about the girl whose letters to all her crushes I got the first two of that and then the third one will be coming in sometime this week and a million Junes is on hold and we don't have that yet our library system doesn't have it yet although I was looking through and I think that's pretty par for the course for us like we don't seem to get new releases for like a month or a couple of months after it comes out which I don't know if that's a normal library thing or just my library kind of sucks in that way thing but we don't have Sarah Dessen's new book either and I'm like 20 something back on the hold list for that so I'll read that possibly next fall <laughs> But I'm really happy to be reading these contemporaries, and I am keeping up with War and Peace still. Sort of. I've been reading a little bit every day, not as much as I should, so I'm like falling way behind. But the YA contemporaries are getting me out of my slump, so I'm really happy, and it's been fun. I love, I love reading things for fun, and not like noticing the page count as I read. Because I do that a lot with Litfic. Even if I'm really enjoying it, I still like notice the page count. And yeah, and also the quality on this sucks because I decided I'm using my front facing camera and I don't care. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The quality of this channel. I'm, I'm not pretending that I have quality content anymore. I'd rather use the front facing camera and see what I'm filming. Oh well. Yeah. I'm really excited to read all these YA contemporary guys. They look so good. And it's been so long since I like sat down and read a bunch. It makes me happy.